morning everybody rv living with the geezer and uh just gonna take a little ride into town this morning yeah just checking in with y'all and i instead of doing a bunch of jibber jabbering this morning i want to talk about something that uh that i feel let me get this camera where it's not showing so much dash there we go got it in my new holder my buddy Dennis sent me, but yeah, I want to talk about this morning something uh, that I consider very important, and uh, the subject being CPR, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, okay? Most of y'all know I was in the fire department 29 years, so I did CPR a lot, okay? But I, I want to talk to you all about it and uh, just sort of stick it in your brains, you know. Uh, do you know how to give CPR? You know, you could you could save your a family member just by knowing it, how to how to how to actually do CPR, and it's not very hard at all. To get certified, it's probably a, I don't know what it is anymore. It's, it's, it's like a six or eight hour course. And they've got the dummies there. They call them recessa annies and uh, teach you the correct hand placement and, and the, uh, you know, teach you how to do the compressions. Now, I'm, I'm a believer in the compressions plus the mouth to mouth. Uh, that's the way it was always taught to us, and that's what we we would do, even one-man CPR. But back in 1997, the American Heart Association uh, came up with just doing the compressions only to leave out the ventilations. And the reason they did that was there were too many people that would just stand there and not do anything because they didn't want to do the mouth to mouth. That's the reason. Uh, I believe the survival rate has to be better if you're doing the old time CPR with the with the uh, mouth to mouth. Now, if you go to a class uh, to get certified now, they're not gonna teach you the mouth to mouth anymore. So even if you just do learn the, the compressions, uh, method, you know, compressions only method. Any Anything is better than nothing. And you can't get sued uh, over uh, doing CPR on somebody and not uh, somebody saying not knowing what you're doing. There's a Good Samaritan Act which covers you in that, uh, you know, uh, and it's, it, uh, they always told us, you know, on the compressions to some people might not be doing them uh, deep enough and they said well I don't want to break his rib and they you know the an standard answer was uh, is he better off with a broken rib or, or six feet under you know so don't worry about injuring somebody doing the CPR you're not going to you're not going to injure them but uh, I just wanted to mention that I got to thinking about that and have I done have I done CPR just out in the public as a civilian? Several times, several times. Not in a while I haven't, but I, you know, I, I have done it several times. Uh, I actually did it on my own mother when she had a heart attack. I was on duty at the fire department, and the closest ambulance was uh, out, which was in San Antonio, they had to come all the way out to Leon Springs and her neighbor called me and told me that uh, she was passed out, you know, there, after that a length of time, it was I was like 25 miles away and I, be, I beat the ambulance out there and I started doing CPR on her and uh, the paramedics that showed up I had both worked with them and they just looked at me and, and I said, yeah uh, yeah, once you start, once you initiate doing CPR, 
you don't stop it until uh, uh, someone with the higher uh, skill level uh, terminates it, says that, you know, there's no use doing it. But, uh, yeah, the, the biggest thing is if, if you all come across somebody that's passed out or whatever, uh, the first thing you would do is check for a pulse and tell someone to call 911 and get an ambulance on the way. Now, that's a big step right there. That's a big help right there. But uh, just think about it, guys. I, you know, like I say, I'm not going to try to tell you how to do CPR over, uh, you know, verbally in this video. But uh, what you can do is uh, Google it and get, get you some YouTube videos. I'm sure there's some people showing you basic CPR. And even if you don't go to a class and get certified, uh, like I say, uh, that would be better than nothing. You know, the worst thing you can do is just stand around and and not do a thing, you know. So uh, the quicker a person's heart stops, the quicker he, he gets somebody helping him pump blood again, the greater the survival rate is going to be, of course. So... All right, guys, I just wanted to throw that out this morning. If you got any questions on it, put it in the comments. And uh, I don't ask you to do this too often, but uh, I would appreciate y'all sharing this video. If you can share this video, it will, how do you say it, exponentially? Oh, geezer, man, coming up with these $5 words. It, it would spread, and if this video puts the idea to, for someone to learn CPR and they happen to save one life with it, just think about that. You you would have helped save, th save that life, you know, by sharing the video that got, got them going on it. It's not hard to learn and it's just like swimming <clears throat> or some other things in life. <laughs> once you, uh, once you learn them, you, uh, you won't forget them. So, uh, yeah, I'm running down to the Family Dollar Store. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, share this video for me. Let's let's get let's get stimulate a few brain cells on learning CPR. And if you don't know how to how to do it yet, then. Uh, Watch a YouTube video, Google it, and uh, just, you know, any action is better than no action when it comes to that. All right, guys, have a great one. Stay positive, stay blessed, and keep your health. Talking to you later. Adios. Bye-bye.